Okay, hi, Zaida. I, I've got my uh, copy of Home Designer Pro 2019 open. You just go over here to New Plan. And right here, you probably never look at this dialog, but right there, me measurement units. And by default, mo I mean, for me, US units, imperial units is selected. If you want a metric plan, you select metric before you click OK. That's it. US units, OK. Metric units, OK. That's how that works. And uh, if you don't do it at the first, you're stuck with whatever you whatever you got. Let, let me just let me do that again. Go to a new plan. We'll go U.S. units, and then uh, if if I don't want to display metric, I think I still can. I'm going to draw some walls here, and uh, that was auto, auto you know is auto dimensioned with the uh, imperial units, but I think I can go to the display options. I mean, dimension default and format. Okay, now that's in uh, Chief Architect Premier, you can designate uh, primary and secondary, but in Home Designer Pro, you can't. So whatever you designate it when you open the plan, that's what it is. What you can do, let, I think, well, I just thought of this. We could go out here to format, and here's units. Well, there's not that many choices. There's feet and inches, inches and feet, and that's it, and decimal places. So in Pro, you don't have as many choices as, as you have in Chief Architect Premier. And like on, on a lot of things, that's the reason Chief Architect Premier is 3000 bucks. And the Home Designer Pro is 500 bucks. You know, you get what you pay for. Okay, I hope this straightens it out for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.